Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to WhatsMap, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bon Bon B and you're very, very welcome. Right, today we have got another blessing. Another blessing. Now we keep talking about how the standards are slowly but surely, year on year on year on year, improving and improving and improving. Well, we've got another really nice one. Now, do you remember Grimsoy? Grimsoy, the snowfall map from that uh, rocky coast of Norway that was so striking. Well, we're in the same part of the world today, but obviously not snowfall. It is... It's my first map. <laughs> yes, indeed. And you are not going to believe it. It is so well done. Of course, there's going to be some talking points. Of course, there's going to be some... But again, it's going to score very highly indeed, so prepare your voting fingers. Don't want to vote? Oh, try this instead. But why wouldn't you want to vote? <laughs> why wouldn't you want to click the like button? Thank you very much for your support, either way. Today's map is Turbo Torsk by Bulletproof Coconut. Now, we have a regular bulletproof on the channel is this you let me know let me know there's your start square sorry the colors are slightly off on this screen everything else in the show will be on point so just ignore the colors there uh terrain heights lots of buildable unusual shapes in the center 25 tiles which is the best place that you want them uh resources they are there they are there you have to search a little bit for them but that's fine you're going to mostly want to build a city anyway aren't you and then if you've got Sunset Harbour and want to do some fishing, we've got a nice mix of all of the little fishies too. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> Off to the workshop. What do we need? Well, it's a mass transit map. You will need mass transit for this one. Three collections listed. You only really want to click the top one. The next two tend to be um, just the assets and just the mods. And some of the mods aren't strictly required, but yeah, most of them are. Uh, we have the theme mixer to Turbo Torsk theme mix and the Relight Average LUT today, uh, including the Coos Bay theme. Yes, it's there again. <laughs> Bonbon Island, what have you done? Uh, intersection marking tool and no controller if you want them. If you don't, it won't change and break things. Procedural objects. I'm going to be honest with you. I completely forgot about procedural objects on the flyover. So it, they've been subtly done. Because I, I mean, maybe we'll spot them on the flyover. Uh, Montebello theme is one of the theme mix. Their nature reserve. Also, realistic one point whatever two point one three Boreal is there too. But uh, all told, the uh, the map is very nice indeed. Now I'm gonna say I, I did find the uh, relight settings uh, in the in the image reel on today's. Doesn't quite match the screenshots. I've got the settings exactly the same and I've tried tweaking Ultimate Eye Candy to try and get the light settings about the same as well. But it doesn't quite. Mine is mine is a little bit more bleached than the screenshots. So uh, if, uh, <laughs> if that's upsetting anybody, I'm sorry, but I did actually, I have got the right relight settings today. Uh, we've got a um, little uh, dirt track underneath there, crossover for traffic to flow back, why not? And, uh, and again, uh, intersection marking tool, uh, good work today. Um, you always know when it's good work because I don't spend much time looking at it. It's only when I stop and go, have a look at this. And or, unless, of course, it's truly exceptional, weird or unusual. But if I fly over something and completely ignore it, do you know what? You've done a perfect job. A perfect job. And, that, and that's not just, uh, again, that's not just with intersection markings, but with any, anything else on your map. If I just whip over something, just it, it's because it's so natural that it almost doesn't deserve a, a mention. Like the trees alongside of the road here. Well, not, not worth mentioning. Uh, something a little unusual, a little bit different here. It does feel a little bit like Teletubby land, this intersection with the lumps and the bumps and the, uh, and the pretty trees. But again, I can't fault it. I can't fault it. Uh, it does lead us off to a separate buildable area up there in the hills. I say in the hills. It's not really um, too much of an incline to get up there. 
Uh, and then uh, we head off this way. Uh, this way is off towards the start square way. But yes, um, it's one of those. It's just one of those maps where there's. I, I, I can I can ooh and ah about it a lot I guess I, I oh have a look at oh isn't this nice and, and the the curve just the curvature on the road is just smooth and gentle and some people might say I said it's a little bit too long maybe imagine if you're trying to hold this um this bend for for miles and miles and miles. but if I'm mentioning that now. I mean, there are dozens and dozens of maps, so I should have mentioned it before. So let's just, we're not marking the map down on that now. Come on, stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> Trying to find reasons to not give maximum stars now is ridiculous. <laughs> That's how good the maps are proving these days. And again, remember, this is a first map. A first map. Do you remember your first map? Was it as good as what we're seeing here in terms of standards? And the answer is almost certainly no. Almost certainly. I mean, there, there are a few. There are a few. Yeah, go on. Brag yourselves up. It's fine. It's fine. Mine wasn't. <laughs> and I spent a lot of time planning and thinking and wanting to get it absolutely spot on. And I was very proud of it at the time. But still, nothing compared to the standards here. This is a start square intersection roundabouty type thing in the bobbity. Uh, heading down here to a little dirt track. Now this is uh, this is the start square. We're sort of like a hint to some roads. Now you see the roads are a little bit broken down there. That's actually by design. It is a hint of a road layout and that's all. Anyway down here we've got a railway replacer two. Again I'm using um, I think it's German and Swiss catenaries. I'm not entirely sure what ones I should have gone with if this is a Norwegian-ish themed uh, kind of area uh, off the uh, Lofoten Peninsula. A uh, beautiful area, beautiful area. So many lovely, lovely images from that part of the world. A beautiful country actually, Norway. So many striking areas in Norway, beautiful place. Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm, 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 I'm drifting now, I'm drifting. Uh, sorry about the bouncing. The, uh, the, the rivers are a little bit deep. And because I'm not running a cinematic camera here, it's, uh, the camera wants to try and stay the same height as the depth of the river, which just means it's going to bounce and bob around a lot. But uh, not much I can do about it, really, short of setting up a cinematic camera. But uh, it's even more hours of the day. Oh, somebody's left the gate open. <laughs> Careful, kids. Do not go in there. There's going to be a lot of electricery going on in there. Don't want, to, don't want any deaths in today's show. Thank you very much. Anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, Bulletproof Coconut, you've done something very special here in as much as it's an awkward kind of terrain to work into a very playable map. And I think you've actually done a very nice job here. Uh, we're not having a look at every bit of highway and every bit of the rail um, layout. I'm, I'm just giving you an overview here of a general route across the map. And that's always the case, um, unless, of course, <laughs> there's only one short road going into the map. Uh, this is just to give you an, over, a, a, an idea. You can always get a, a better idea with the top down at the start of the show, just to see um, the shape of the map. But yeah, we've got uh, pretty good connections, high standards, high, high standards, some very nice intersections, slightly unusual intersections in places. Uh, but not in a horrific, my God, what have they done here kind of way, unusual intersections in places. It's, uh, again, very nice. I mean, it's just such a pleasure making this show when you've just got something very slick to look at. I mean, it's more fun when you, you, you're reviewing a map that's got a few problems because you can have a little bit of a laugh together. Uh, and, uh, and hey, listen, it's fine. It's fine. We're all allowed to make mistakes. But, um, but yeah, when you've got something like this, it's just very nice indeed. Uh, heading off towards the edge of the map now. So what we'll do is we'll do that int uh, intermission. We'll come back, check the, uh, fish the fishing, the shipping, the shipping, bomb bomb. And, of course, the water flow right after this. Wouldn't it be great if City Skylines had tides within the game? Well, now it does, thanks to TPB's Tides Mods. Want to know more? Then you need Bon Bon B's Tides tutorial. Click the information button below. Ah, 
but be careful not to flood your city on low-lying low -lying maps like this. Be careful <laughs> with the Tides mod. Uh, shipping routes, that's the one. Back to Turbo Torsk by Bulletproof Coconut. And uh, we've got a very neat little shipping route here. And all the shipping triangles are in place. Uh, we have a few dead ends, like that one over there, which is where you want them to be. A couple over there, which is where you'd want them to be. And then if we carry on the route around this way, where it completes a triangle there, it'll um, just bear off to a couple of dead ends over there as well. And uh, yeah, just a very slick set of shipping routes. Very nice. Water flow, you have access to all of the water around all of this peninsula in the start square. There's moving water in places. There's no reason why you can't have a pump and draw game on this map. All told, what a really interesting shaped map to work with and a lot of it i feel is very very believable got one or two minor grab we'll come to those loving the outlying we're loving the outlying islands uh, little dotted ones here and there so if you're playing and you want to play some uh, some ferries ferries out to these would be very neat indeed or just um like fishing from the islands and having uh having some sort of connection to the mainland. I'm sure you'll find a way. Very neat way of doing it. Um, loving this area over here. Like we've got a little farming area up here, which I totally buy into. Minimalistic and absolutely on point. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with that one. Loving the dry river here. Looks like it overflows in the winter only. That's quite a nice, neat little thing there. And uh, these are yeah, your, your buildable areas up in the hills we saw earlier. And I feel, yeah, some small towns would be very neat there. Okay, now um, this <laughs> power station here. Something I discovered just by chance. I wouldn't often notice this. But something I just noticed by chance is... Let me open up. Move it. Shut that down. Move it. Grab one of these. And, oh, look. Yeah, there's, there's, there's three of them on each point. I don't know why, but there are. A um, little bit of copy and pasting issues, maybe. Anyway, the power lines go up to the top of the hill where we have all the wind turbines. Now, apparently wind turbines reduce some of the wind, so hopefully this isn't lacking too much wind. Looks, again, perfect location to me. Let's just check that wind map. While we're here, come on then, let's do that. Absolutely spot on. Look at how strong the wind is there. Couldn't choose a better location. Very nice indeed. All the reward. Now, um, anybody who watches the show regularly will know I love river and lake systems. Works very nicely on this map. Very happy with this one. The scaling, the scaling as well, on the whole, is very good. Because you've got to remember, we're dealing with a relatively small area in real life. So to squeeze mountains and lakes and rivers in and make them feel about the right sort of size is, is a challenge. And here, this one here, like here's your water spawn point here, feels like a wetland area. I can completely buy into that. However, however, this is Bon Bon's grumble moment. This one, again, feels very nice, but I just don't buy it in the same way. Again, the river, perfectly fine, perfectly lovely. But the spawn point is this lake, which doesn't feel like it's drawing enough water from anywhere. I want. I think it wants to be a bit bigger. Um, let's think how big. How big we want that? I think I'd want that extend roughly where the trees are. I would like it sort of like extending into that area where the tree as a minimum size for a lake there, just to hide the spawn the uh, spawn point. Then we have this uh, this dry deserty area. It's not desert, but you know, a dry sandy area. And I'm loving the sand build up under the pillars. Yes, I did notice this. This is very believable. Ah, yes, that's quality through and through. And then over here, we have everybody's favorite factory. And one thing I'd never noticed before, look at how dusty it looks. Is the sand texture part of everybody's favorite factory? Is that, is that part? I, I've never, I'm going to have to look at ne Next time I do a, a, a review and there's a map there, sorry, a, a factory there, I'm just going to see if it looks different. <laughs> just, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me being like hypersensitive at the moment loving the shapes of the mountains but i'm expecting that from this part of the world and the tree painting as well on the mountains very nice as well and of course the turbo torsk theme mix very nice as well 
we didn't get over this part of the map. I just want to show we've got tunnels, and quite often tunnels can be a fall down for maps. And the tunnels here are absolutely beautiful. I mean, there's not too much to talk about there, but um, as we didn't come this route, I thought I'd better show you. Ah, uh, we have ah uh, the essential lighthouse. Isn't she lovely? Uh, but she's obviously obsolete because we have the big old beggar lighthouse right behind there. It's a lovely thing. Like the power lines going into the um, to the ground there. That's very interesting. Very different. I think I would have connected it higher onto the lighthouse personally. But that is just me. Nothing wrong with what you've done. Uh, then we have, ooh, it's a castle. And boy, ooh, is it a castle. Getting some very nice castles these days. And this one's a really interesting and believable shape as well. Loving this. I'm also loving the way that uh, Tebatorska's decided, sorry, that bulletproof coconut has decided not to do uh, an elevated footpath across there. I would have I would have done that. And I'm liking that it's not there. It's it's omitted. And it makes it, I think, even better because it's not there. Yeah, we don't have any um walls going through the towers. We've got the doors in the right places. Uh, this, I think this one possibly, possibly, if we'd gone with like the bend in the wall in one or two places, just to connect a couple of those up, they just seem a little bit stunted. Um, I feel that the, the walls would have continued, at least in one or two of them, uh, those places. Just little things for the next level of detailing, but we're getting very close to the very best level. Of asset creations. Oh, come on, this is fantastic. Fantastic Vitali. Cuba Residential, 18, 12 and 8 floors. Um, three blocks of flats and it's all in the title, I feel. And as we're talking about Cuba, factoids because factoids. Cuba has nine UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Two of the heritage sites were chosen for their uh, natural importance. One is, here we go, <clears throat> Alessandro de Humboldt National Park, located on the east of the island and notable for its endemic flora and fauna and its complex lithology. No idea what lithology is. I'm going to Google that in a minute. <laughs> the other is Disembarco del Gr Granma? Granma, maybe. <laughs> now nah, can't read. National Park, also on the east of the island and notable for its sea cliffs and limestone marine terraces. Very interesting. Cuba, great place to visit and great places to live. Look at this. Fantastic, fantastic Vitalis Cuba residential. 18, 12 and 8 floor buildings. Very lovely. Let me try that again. I, I, I think it's the grandma. G-R-A-N-M-A. -A -A, Grandma National Park. <laughs> I'd not gonna know. I've just looked, just looked, no. <laughs> you know me, I'm gone now. Anyway, <laughs> what do you think of today's map? Is it a one-star map? Is it a five-star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote, <laughs> Grandma. Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewer's choice top 10. Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? Only you can decide. Hit the i button now in the top right corner of your screen or the link in the description. It will take you to the voting page where you can vote for free. But what do I think of today's map? Well, aesthetically, aesthetically, it's very nice. It's very interesting. Interesting design. I think there's one or two things. Like, I, I'm just not into the believability on that that lake and that's it just one or two minor things i think could just elevate the map a little bit more just a little bit it's still a very strong four star map i'm gonna go just slightly below middle four just slightly below middle four detailing across the map very strong could it be a little bit stronger i think there are a few little tweaks that could be done here and there i'm gonna go right down the middle middle four very strong map very impressed gameplay i'm 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 up for this one. I think it's very interesting. I'm going to go for a high four. Don't know why I'm not going five stars on this one. I'm just not feeling it as a fifth star. I don't, I don't, maybe it's because there's not enough room for a big airport. I don't know. Tabo Torsk by Bulletproof Coconut. Yes, of course, it's getting a seal of approval. If you're looking to do a Nordic style build, then this is absolutely on point. Grab it while it's free which will be forever because it's the workshop and while you're there of course congratulate bulletproof coconut on the first map an exceptional first map 
Anyway, a uh, three, a two, one. Ah, oh, you're into the 20 and out elite. No problem. You can prove that by using the word of the day into the comments. Squeeze us some population points just for fun. Because it is only just for fun. The whole of this is just for fun. Don't ever take it too seriously. And I'll be back tomorrow with another map in the What's Map series. Have a great day and I'll see you very, very soon.